Hey, what's up guys? So here's my 2015 F250 uh, with the original side mirror lenses. Uh, this is what I'm gonna show you how to replace. So I'm gonna take you from this to this, smoked out lenses. All right guys, so I've already done the uh, passenger side. Here's my, uh, here's the replacement lens. These are the original factory lens covers. Um, so as you can see, it's cracked right here. All right, so hopefully the camera can pick this up, but the reason why I'm replacing these is one, uh, they're amber, they're orange. This truck's 2015, and so I'm trying to modernize it as well as, uh, um, you know, if this is a black and caribou brown two-tone F250, uh, these kind of stick out. So as you can see, there's some cracks uh, within this, as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see that, but there's some cracks. And um, yeah, they're just a different color, so I'd like to have them smoked out. So uh, that's one reason, two, to modernize it, uh, and then, you know, just kind of make it look a little more cosmetically clean with a black truck. All right, so tools that you're going to need, you're gonna need new 194 amber bulbs. I'll go ahead and post the links uh, to all these parts that I'm using in this video down below in the description. You're gonna need smoked out, uh, new lenses, all right, and then you're gonna need a long uh, flathead. For these bulbs specifically, they need to be amber in color because um, you could use white bulbs, which is what this used, um, but the amber casing made them look amber. Here are the factory bulbs. All right, so they're just clear 194s. Um, because I'm me, I'm gonna use some dielectric grease prior to inserting the bulb. So let's go ahead and go straight into the install. All right guys, so first thing you're gonna need to do is move this mirror um, towards the driver and up. You are going to see a white tab right there. So what I'm gonna use is this long flat head. And what I'm doing is actually pointing it towards that direction. And there it is. Um, so as you can see, this is what it looks like outside. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is twist counterclockwise these bulbs. Right, there's one. And as you can tell, there's a difference between the upper bulb connector and the bottom one. So the black one's gonna go up on top. All right guys, so as you're removing these uh, bulbs from the mount, um, this more than likely is gonna happen to you. These O-rings are gonna be like eight years old for me, maybe a few years shorter than you. Um, but this is where they go. One O-ring right there, and there's one old O-ring right there is already cracked. Um, this is what keeps the moisture out of these lenses, so more than likely I'll probably remove these, replace these O-rings. All right, so here we go. Gonna go ahead and remove one, and two bulbs add dielectric grease onto these points because on me this is entirely optional there we go that's all you need all right go ahead and open up your box comes with four each all right go ahead and insert one and two All right, so next step, what we're gonna do is actually make sure that they work prior to putting on the new lens. All right, so we have the two bulbs, it's clean. Let's go ahead and make sure that the bulbs actually work prior to putting on the lens. All right, so I switched the headlights from auto to on. Those would turn on, all right. And so let's go ahead and check the turn signal. Turn the key on so that we can actually use the turn signal. All right, so the truck's uh, not entirely on, but the accessory is on. You put this left turn signal on, boom, it's good to go. All right, All right so we went ahead, put the bulbs back in, put them in the sockets of the holes, and then go ahead and twist them clockwise. The way it's gonna have to go in is this tab's gonna have to go in first, and then slide this forward, while making sure that this little point right here goes into its little place right there, so. That's all it is, it snaps in and there you go. Check it out. 
that is all it takes so it snaps in awesome looks smoked out let's go ahead and do a quick walk around to see how it looks after the job all right so mine doesn't have the chrome package which is why the smoke lenses make sense to replace those amber ones and guys that is all that it takes uh, no more than 30 minutes of your time fairly simple bulbs lenses everything that you're going to need is going to be uh, linked in the description below um, since i did those these clearance lamp lenses have to go they're still amber in color honestly to me it's a little aged out um, maybe not for others but um yeah it's 2023 you're just gonna tell that this one's a little more aged so uh it's all personal preference what you like uh, is what you should do so guys hope that was uh, clear enough for you fairly short simple project upgrade that you can do to your truck even if your truck's not uh, black anyways guys until next time see y'all